Hi, Zenny Bar Pixel Bottom here from the Alchemy Viewer Team. So last video I showed you how to uh, set up a scene, this scene for reflection probes, and as you see, it's looking pretty nice right now. I mentioned how the Ramirez of you really needed proper reflections, so I suppose it's time to uh, teach you about that one. So here's a very reflective surface. As you can see, it's uh, not quite accurate, and also I'm nowhere in it, but we can solve that with a mirror. Uh, much like a probe, what you would do is you would open your build menu and res out a prim, go to the features tab, and then hit reflection probe. But in this case, we're going to hit box, and then we're going to switch our axis orientation over to local. And then we are going to hit the mirror checkbox. Now on the Linden Labs viewer, this is probably going to look a little different, but it'll be a similar workflow. So, now we can actually start pushing the probe against the mirror, and it doesn't look quite right. This is because the mirror is expecting the probe to point away from the mirrors uh, with this axis right here, the Z axis, the blue axis. So what we have to do is we have to rotate it so that the axis is pointing away from the mirror, like so. So now, if we were to move this very close to the mirror, like so, and then resize it, we have a mirror. That looks like a very accurate reflection. And mirrors do lightly blend with surrounding probes, so you do get a little bit of fade around the edges, but you can always just make it bigger. But you'll notice I'm not in this reflection. Am I a vampire? Well, no, it's because uh, the mirror is not set to dynamic. There are, what dynamic does is allows particles and avatars to be seen from both a probe and mirrors. Uh, the reason this is a checkbox is because rendering avatars, again, is very expensive. It should only really be used for proper mirrors like this. So if I were to hit dynamic, suddenly I am now visible within the mirror. Like so. Ooh, look how beautiful I look. Alright, but so in this case, this is a good example of using a dynamic mirror. It's a perfect mirror, and it's some, and then you really do actually want to see yourself with it. But like, let's say that you have like a decorative mirror that just needs to show the area, or it's distorted on purpose, or it's a very busy area such as the center of a club. In that case, it would probably be a good idea to use a static mirror like this. They are much, much less performance heavy uh, than trying to render an avatar. And they still get all the benefits of have being a proper mirror as well. Uh, and that's basically all there is about mirrors. Uh, hopefully at some point better indicators are placed on how to set up a mirror, but the biggest Im important uh, note for this uh, video is that this blue axis must be pointing away from the mirror itself. And you can only know this if your orientations are set to local. Because otherwise, it'll look like it's always up in world mode. Okay, and that's how you make a mirror. I hope you learned something from this uh, video, and y'all have a great day.